Shetland has got brilliant words for getting dirty and getting in a mess. One of the dirty jobs around the craft is the pit. There's so many words in Shetland for, for dirt and mess. Uh, cluster, ogled, goggled. This is a, a Jaguar XK1 party replica that I've been making now for two or three years. It's not a bad note, the engine and ours in, but there were many a day when you were finished, you were very dirty. In fact, you were packing. If uh, mine had been out working or Bairns had been out playing and whatever they would had been working in, whether it was gutter or working with sheep, by the end of it you might be you might be picket. Come, steward. Picket is a, a word that you would use to describe uh, Bairns playing out of the summertime and they were getting gutter out them and dry time. They weren't seen a lack of water for a long time. Sharn. Plague. Some of the great words are getting in a slester. Slester is when you drop food and you already get into a period bit of a mess. Like say if you did not a dining table, you would probably get into a slester because you would be dropping food on you. You would maybe say to your partner or somebody like that, you're such a slester. So you could describe a person as, as being a slester as well as something inanimate like a, a tabletop or a work surface. Stew. So a Celester would be like when the Burns is maybe hand penting and they get their hands in the pent, but then after they've pented it maybe ends up out their arms and maybe even on their fist and you'd say, oh, you're gotten yourself in the right Celester. I had twins, so in order to try and save myself a bit of time feeding them, I got them to feed themselves when they were really, really young, so they got in the right Celester. But I had to put their pennies on down to their wrists and right up to their chins, and they sat with their pretty balls and their spoons, and it was just our. But they enjoyed it. Slester. Clutch is a similar word to Slester, in that it's the sticky mess that you've gotten yourself in. If I was maybe speaking to a bairn and wanting them to encourage them to get their hands messy for hand pent, and I would say, Would you clutch me and on? I get myself in the clutch when I've been marking slime or something like that. It kind of implies a thick like covering of something, whether it's intentional or unintentional. Muck. S. Uh, clutch can be used in all kinds of different ways, and some of the some of the best Shetland words are describing that features, whether it's something that's in an elt and in a miss and in a clutch. If you were pushing a car stuck in the gutter and the wheels were spinning and you were standing a hunter, you'd be clutched to eight to foot we go there. Uh, we speak about there being uh, brock, whether it's done a chuck brock or there's brock lying along the road on the beach, washed up for the sea, uh, or if it's just things in a hoose. What is all this brock that's lying here on the table? Brock doesn't really imply like a clutch or a Lesser. It, it's things, like things that you've thrown away. It's old stuff that's only fit to, fit to the dump, usually lying around in a bit of an eyesore. So if you were outside and you saw like a tin can or a packet of crisps, empty packet of crisps lying in the gifts, you would say that was brook. It shouldn't be there, it should be in the bin. Aggled is a good word for if you're covered in muck, if you're covered in dirt. As you can see, I'm fairly aggledy new. Supposing you were up at the pit hill and you were turning the pits or you were raising the pits or whatever, and maybe you fell off the bank and into the graph, then you would get up, you'd be covered in pit moor and mud, and that would be you aggled. I would maybe get aggled if I was walking with neighbour's dog, Ragnar. He's a big Alsatian, so if he pulled me off my feet, he might have pulled me through a big mud patch or a guttery field. Yeah, aggled just means when you're covered in gutter or something like that. You could be aggled with anything. It could be a bucket of dirty water, or you're hawking about fish guts or something, and you're, you're aggled, you're just covered. And I certainly am, you know. So that's some very good descriptive Shetland words that uh, are still used today across styles. styles.